Hello everyone, this is Brodisar from Sync Academy and this is a lecture video for our weekly practice program. And if you haven't joined our WhatsApp group, you can contact me, my number is here. Alright, and so you can get our update. Uh, in the groups. Alright, so uh, today we are gonna talk about our part one practice which is about mixed operations. Uh, I believe this part, uh, this topic would be easy for you because we all know how to do the calculation, right? So the key to today's answer is read the questions carefully and find the correct meaning of the problem. Alright, so now let's begin. Uh, the first question is very, very simple, and let's take a look at it. Uh, the first one is 6 uh, minus 2, right? 6 minus 2, that is 4, of course, right? 6 minus 2. And then what should we do? We should add 3 to the difference, to the difference. So what is a difference? 4 here is the difference, right? Because difference means the result of a minus, or we say, of a subtraction, right? So we should add 3 to the difference. That means 4, sorry, 4 plus 3, that is 7, right? So the correct answer for the first problem would be 7. And then let's move on to the next one that we should 3 times 5, 3 times 5, that is 15, right? And then subtract 8 from the product. Here comes another word, product. So what is product? Product is a res the result of a multiplication. Here it's 15. 15 is the product, all right? So we should subtract 8 from 15, that is 15 minus 8. The answer is also 7, all right? This is just a coincidence, all right? And the third one here, we should divide 18 by 9. And that is 18 divided by 9. We know the result is 2, right? And then we should multiply the quotient, multiply the quotient here. Uh, so what is this? This is the result of a division. Here it is 2. All right, so we should multiply the quotient, which is 2, by 4. All right, so this is what we do. We multiply the quotient, which is 2, multiplied by 4. So the answer would be 8, right? So 8 is the correct answer for our third question. All right. So this question is very easy, right? We just read it carefully and write it down and get the answer. All right, then let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. Uh, we still need to find the result, all right? The first one is, the first one is multiply 5 by the sum of 2 and 3. All right, multiply 5 by the sum of 2 and 3. So multiply 5 by what? By the sum of 2 and 3. That means 2 plus 3. But we need brackets here because it says the sum of 2 and 3. And this is the sum. Right? So we just continue. This would be very easy. It's 5 times 5. The answer would be 25 here. All right, so 25, we just write it here. That's done. And for the second one, we also take a look at it. It says that 4 plus the product of 5 and 7. So 4 plus 4 plus the product of 5 and 7. All right, we said it that before that the product it's the result of multiplication, right? So we should multiply 5 by 7, right? This is the product we need, all right? This is the product we need. So 
let's also just continue this is 4 plus 35. So the answer would be 39. Right. Now, so in these questions, we are seeing two layers. The first layer is multiply 5 or 4 plus, and then the next layer is the sum of 2 and 3, or the product of 5 and 7. So we need brackets here. Uh, we don't need brackets there, here, because we should calculate 5 times 7 before the addition, right? But when it comes to something like this, we need brackets here, so that we just uh, calculate 2 uh, plus 3 first, right? Because if without the brackets, we should probably just calculate 5 times 2 first, right? So just pay attention to it, all right? And you will be fine. And our last question, add the product of 6 and 2 to the difference of 7 and 4. All right, so now we are seeing two descriptions here. The first is the product of 6 and 2. The next one is the difference of 7 and 4. And in the end, we need to add them, right? We need to add them up. So the product of 6 and 2, that is 6 times 2, right? And the difference of 7 and 4, that is 7 minus 4, right? And we need to add the product and the difference. So product is this, but difference here, we need brackets again, because we should calculate this first, right? So just add them up. All right, add them up. Don't miss the brackets, all right? We need them because we need to calculate the difference. Then add it to the product, all right? So uh, if you do this correctly, then the re rest part of it would be very, very easy. This is 12 and this is 3. Add them up, it ends up 15, all right? So 15 is the right answer. Sorry, uh, just rewrite it, perhaps. 15, all right? So this is, this is all for today, and I hope you enjoy this. And don't forget to join our WhatsApp group. All right, so goodbye, everyone. I will see you three days later.